everyone, it's Kayla and welcome to my channel. Today I have a fall Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I can confidently say that I hit the jackpot when I was at the Dollar Tree. I found the cutest fall room decor ever and also some fun little extra things that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So I can't wait to get started. Let's just get into it. By the way, I spent a little over $20 today and again, I'm so in love with everything so it was definitely worth it. First, we are going to be going through this bag right here. So guys, I put together the prettiest little fall flower bouquet. Um, these were actually sold individually. So this one was a dollar, this one was a dollar, and this one was a dollar. You get it. Um, but you could kind of like piece them together however you wanted and make something beautiful. So this was the little flower bouquet that I made. And I totally forgot to get a vase when I was there. Um, but in the near future, I will be getting a vase. I don't know where I'm going to put these yet, like in my bedroom. I'm still thinking about it. But but I got these. Then I just had to get some spider web. This stuff is so much fun. And I've actually never put spider web up in my room before for Halloween. But I think I am going to do it this year. Actually, I am going to do it this year. There's no maybes. I know that this sticks to like anything pretty easily. So I think it'll be a lot of fun to set up and it'll also look really cool in like the background of my videos. So I'm very pumped about this. Then I got a little baggie of just some maple leaves and I love these so much. They just make me happy. I bought these last year too and I don't ever know where they go to. Like I swear I always put them away in storage and then I can never find them. So I got another bag. They're only a dollar. It was no big deal. And I usually just put these like all throughout my room, like on my windowsill, on my vanity, on my little cubic organizer back there, just everywhere. It's like fun little splashes of fall. Then, oh my gosh, guys. So at the Dollar Tree, they had this whole section completely devoted to like Halloween goodie bags. And I'm not just talking about candy. I'm talking about little toys. So I decided to get these little rings right here. The pack comes with spiders bats and also is it just spiders and bats oh and skulls um and the reason that i got these is because as you guys know or if you didn't know i have my own lip balm brand and around halloween time and christmas time i always like to put little fun extra goodies into the packages so whenever people order my halloween or fall collections i'm going to include a little ring and then some candy because i think it's a fun little touch so we got that then for this bag this one's really light but we got some black and orange pumpkin garland. Yes. Oh my gosh. So I'm thinking about hanging this on my bedpost because I did that with my Christmas garland last year and it looked really, really cool. So I think that's what we're going to do with this. I just love the way it looks. It's so fun. And the little jack-lanterns are absolutely adorable. Then guys, okay, I got two boas. This one is orange and this one is black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these pink boas that I have in my room with these Halloween ones. And then after Halloween is over, we'll bring the pink back because I'm obsessed with those. But yes, yeah, so we got these. I thought they were very fun. Moving right along, we have another bag. And oh, ooh, okay. <laughs> this is kind of funny. The lady at the Dollar Tree didn't do a very good job wrapping these. We have two very fragile pumpkins in here. So guys, how cute are these? Oh my goodness, I just think that they are so cute. They have black little sparkly polka dots on them and they're just adorable. Like, I have to find a really good spot for these. I am definitely going to save these for forever and ever. They're actually really well made for only being a dollar each. So I had to snatch those right up. And now for the last bag. Let's see what's in here. You guys ready? <gasps> is this not the most adorable little sign you have ever seen? It says trick or treat and it has a white little bow. And to be honest, the white bow is what made me want to buy this the most because it's like a cute little girly touch. And oh my gosh, I just love it. Unfortunately, it's like peeling at the top, but no one's going to like study it like I do. Like people will see it and they're not going to like go like this and try to find imperfections on it. So I got this and I think it's so cute. I got these little mini lollipops and these are also for my lip test packages. I think it's a fun little touch and these are just so cute. Oh my gosh, wait, there's 18 different flavors. It says up to 18 flavors and there's 35 lollipops. <gasps> 
There are so many flavors, I had no idea. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And it lists all the flavors on the back. So guys, I'm gonna read them off to you and then you have to comment below and let me know which one you would wanna eat the most, okay? So there's watermelon, blue raspberry, bubblegum, cherry, grape, orange, strawberry, green apple, tropical fruit punch, banana, cotton candy, strawberry lemonade, orange cream, bur oh my gosh, birthday cake. I had to like freeze for a second because birthday cake, oh my gosh. <gasps> Birthday cake, root beer float, apple pie, mango, and limeade. How could you even pick one favorite? Actually, call me your top three. My top three are birthday cake, um, root beer, and probably blue raspberry. Apple pie is also very intriguing, but how cool is that? Oh my gosh. Then guys, I got this giant pack of maple leaf stickers and these are actually for your window. I thought these would be perfect for my room because I have three windows. I have a bathroom window and then I have two other ones. So I have lots of window to put these on. <laughs> Come to think of it, I probably should have bought two packs. So let's just pretend that I did buy two packs because if these work well, I'm definitely gonna go back and get more, which I'm sure they will work well. I don't see why they wouldn't. So these guys are so adorable. Are you ready? <gasps> They are these little owl decorations and these look like they wouldn't be at the dollar store. I don't know why, but I could see these being at like Kirkland's or Home Goods or someplace that's like more expensive, you know? There's something about the way they look that just looks really well made. I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but I think that they are so cute. As you can see, one little owl has an orange hat and a green button and the other has a green hat and an orange button. So they're literally BFFs. I had to buy both because I didn't want one to be friendless. So we have to name them guys. What should we name these owls? I need name suggestions. Okay. I'm looking at this little guy's hat and it's broken. It's okay. He's a little misfit. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay guys, and then the last thing that I got were three packs of Halloween stickers. And again, I bought these for my lip cess packages. I always like to decorate the outside of the envelopes to make it more fun. So since Halloween is just around the corner, I got all these Halloween packs, okay? So this one's adorable. If I ever do like a lip cess costume collection, um, this would be perfect because there are all kinds of little characters and costumes. This set is super cute too. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use these. I love the little ghost with the bow that's holding the black cat. So adorable. And then the last sticker pack I have is this set right here. And let's see, this pack comes with 25 and then the other two come with 20. So I got 65 stickers for three bucks not too bad and they're super adorable anyways guys that was all for today's fall dollar tree haul if you like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i want you to comment below and let me know if you are dressing up for halloween this year what are you gonna be i would love to hear what you have to say i'm trying to think the last time i went trick-or-treating what was i i think i was a character from the purge ew it's frightening. Ooh. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.